Hello children, welcome to SJC online classes. In the first video, part 1, I have discussed about transport in plants, where I focused on the structure and function of xylem. In today's video, I will be discussing about structure and function of phloem. I will also discuss about the difference between xylem and phloem. Phloem is mostly made up of living cells. It consists of four different types of cells, seed tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. Out of these, only the fibers are non-living. Rest seed tubes, companion cells and phloem parenchyma are living cells. It is considered as a complex tissue since it is made up of four different types of cells. Now let us study in detail about the seed tubes. Sieve tube consists of specialized elongated cells. They lack a nucleus. The end of these cells are connected with other sieve tube members by sieve plates. These sieve plates have pores or perforations that help in the transport of food material between them. Sieve tubes are adjacent to companion cells. These companion cells contain nucleus. So, both the sieve cells and the companion cells are produced from the same mother cells. So together they are considered as a living unit. The companion cells are specialized cells that help in the functioning of sieve cells. Both the sieve tube and companion cell help in the transport of food material. Next is the phloem parenchyma. These cells are living cells which help in the transport of food they also help in the storage of food finally talking about phloem fibers these phloem fibers are dead cells of the phloem they are long flexible and they provide mechanical support to the plant now talking about functions of the phloem as i've already told you the first function of phloem is the translocation of food from the leaves to the various parts of the plant. Second function is that phloem parenchyma helps in the storage of food. Third, as I told you, that phloem fibers help in providing mechanical support to the plant. Now let us differentiate between xylem and phloem. First difference, xylem help in conducting water and mineral salts from the roots to the various parts of the plant. And translocating food which is prepared in the leaves of the plant and then it is transported to the various parts of the plant. Next is xylem is made up of xylem vessels, tracheids, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. Phloem is made up of sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. Third important difference is that the conducting cells, vessels, and tracheids are dead cells whereas the conducting cells in case of phloem are the living cells next is that xylem has unidirectional flow of the water and mineral salts from the root to the various parts of the plant in case of phloem the flow is bidirectional the food is prepared in the leaves of the plant and it is translocated to the upward plants as well as the lower parts of the plant. Thank you children. God, God bless you all.